Aurora was a supposed American Renaissance aircraft from the middle of the 1980s. It has been labeled a myth since there isn't any solid proof that it has ever been constructed or flown. The American administration has consistently denied ever building such an aircraft. The aviation and space reference site aerospaceweb.org came to the following conclusion. There is little reason to question the government's view. The evidence supporting the Aurora is circumstantial or pure supposition. The U.S. was left without a new surveillance plane to fly across the world after the SR-71 spy plane program ended in the 1990s. Since the SR-72 is still decades away, it is assumed that the military has been flying blind for the past 30 years. There have been numerous reports of strange triangle aircraft flying over military airfields all over the world. Although not much is known about this aircraft, it is thought to cruise at a height of roughly 90,000 feet and reach a top altitude of 135,000 feet or potentially 110,000 feet. The plane would be flying at extraordinary speeds, easily pushing Mach 6 and blasting across the sky at these altitudes. It would need either a ramjet or an early scamjet, like the one proposed for the SR-72, or a highly loud propulsion system termed a pulse wave detonation engine to travel at this speed. It is extremely dissimilar from conventional engines. The deflagration of fuel, which is the quick but subsonic combustion of fuel, is the basis for all conventional jet engines and the majority of rocket engines. The supersonic detonation of fuel powers the pulse detonation engine. If the aircraft possessed this engine, it would let it fly over any existing anti-aircraft defenses and have a range significantly larger than the SR-71, whose employment necessitated a sizable tanker support fleet. Spying would be the mission profile of the Aurora, which would be used to fill the gap between spy satellites and slower aircraft or drones. Speaking of drones, this plane would either be fully autonomous or have one or two people flying it. It's a little ambiguous because we can't say for sure. We also don't know how sophisticated spy plane computer technology was early in the 1990s when this was developed. Large panels would make up its skin, which would be comprised of unique titanium material, helping to regulate heat while flying at such a high speed and lowering its radar profile. It might also be able to send weapons into hostile regions. Even while these missiles weren't hypersonic, they would still have allowed the aircraft to deliver a powerful blow, then land and take off before the adversary could respond. The aging Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird could be replaced with a Mach 5 aircraft, according to numerous aerospace industry experts by the late 1980s. By the middle of the 1900s, reports of sightings of unidentified aircraft flying over California and the United Kingdom with strangely shaped contrails, sonic booms, and related phenomena suggested the U.S. had developed such an aircraft. Detailed examinations of the U.S. defense budget purported to have found money missing or channeled into black projects. The word Aurora was frequently attached to these observations as a way of explaining them, even though nothing ever connected any of these observations to any program or type of aircraft. As an engineer on the Jackup Barge GSF Galveston Key in the North Sea in late August 1989, Chris Gibson noticed an odd isosceles triangle-shaped Delta aircraft that appeared to be refueling from a Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker and was being followed by two F-111 fighter bombers. Gibson kept an eye on the planes for a while before they vanished. There is no knowledge of a black program of this sort in the MOD, although it would not surprise the appropriate desk officers in the Air Staff and Defense Intelligence Staff if it did exist. The British Defense Secretary Tom King was informed when the sighting was made public in 1992. According to a report in Air Force's Monthly, a crash at RAF Boscombe Down in Wiltshire on September 26, 1994 seems to be intimately related to black missions. The influx of USAF planes into the facility impeded further inquiry. In Augusta 109, special air service personnel arrived in civilian attire. Fire trucks and tarpaulins shielded the disaster site from public view, and shortly after that, the base was closed to all aircraft. Unfounded claims about images of the trail left behind after an unexpected sonic boom was heard above the town in July 2002 have been made on the Horsted Keys Village website. The details were used in a BBC report about the Aurora project in 2005. By 1996, the number of stories mentioning the Aurora name began to decline giving the impression to those who still thought the aircraft existed that it had only been a prototype or had a brief operational lifespan. 
Nick Outerside, a journalist with the Aberdeen Press and Journal, authored an article about U.S. stealth technology used in Scotland in 2000. He claimed that RAF USAF Macaranish in Kintyre Argyll was a base for Aurora aircraft, citing unnamed sources. The nearly two mile long runway at McInerish makes it excellent for high altitude and experimental aircraft, and the fenced off coastal approach makes it perfect for takeoffs and landings that are performed far from the prying eyes or cameras of the press and public. Rob Weiss, the general manager of the Skunk Works, confirmed a research project in June 2017, according to Aviation Week. He also said that hypersonic flight technology was now mature and that efforts were being made to fly an aircraft using it.